Okay, to create the um, price checker for the shopping task, basically we need to start off with a fresh spreadsheet, and I'm going to create myself a new um, a new worksheet, and I'm going to call this one data. So this is where I'm going to keep the information about prices and products. So very quickly, I'm just going to show you an example of how that can work. I've got five uh, numbers there. Next to them, I'm going to just going to put some products in. I'm going to use fruit, I think. Okay, so there's five fruit. Each one's got a code number, and I'm going to give each of them a price, so whatever they might cost. And before I do that, I'm just going to convert this and make it into, by formatting my cells, type currency. So two decimal places, dollar sign, that's fine. I'm going to say, uh, make some numbers up. Okay, so there's my data. I've got some fruit names, I've got codes for them, and I've got some prices for them. I'm going to come back now to my first sheet, and I'm going to set things up here. So I want to be able to type in, in a position, the product code. So that can go underneath there. I'll make this a little bit wider to fit it in. I want that to return then the name of the product and the cost of the product. Okay, so it's all very basic at the moment doesn't seem to do anything until I start making use of some functions. Now the function I'm going to use, I'm going to click in there, I'm, I want to return the name in here, I'm going to click on the function, insert function um, tool, and I know the one I'm looking for, the one I'm looking for is called VLOOKUP, and I can find it quite quickly because if I go to the lookup section and then scroll down to where it says V, there we go, VLOOKUP, I'm going to say OK to that one, and it opens up a little window for me. Now this looks a bit confusing, but it's actually fairly straightforward. I need to fill in the data in these um, four little boxes. And the easiest way of doing that is to click on the little box at the end, and then it allows me to click onto a cell. So the first thing it's saying, the lookup value, is basically saying, where is the number I'm typing in? So where's my product code? So I'm going to click on here, and then I'm going to click here. So this cell here is going to be where I enter the product code. So I'm going to click back over here to bring my help um, box back again. The table array is basically where my data is. So I'm going to click on here again. This time I'm going to jump to my data worksheet and I'm going to select that range. Okay, That range is basically all my data. So I'm going to click here again. The next question, column index number, is basically saying which which index or which column across do I want to bring the value from? Now, if I go back to where my data is and look at that, I've got one, two, I've got three columns. So I want the data from the second column. So in here, I just want to put the number two. And the last one basically is saying, do I want it to be a true, a false, a, an exact match or, a, or the closest one? Well, I want it to be an exact match. So I'm just going to type the word false in there. I know that sounds a very strange thing to do, but that's what I need to do. So the first one is the cell where I'm typing in the code. The second one is the range of where my data is. The third one is the column number, so which, which bit of data I want to bring back, column one, two, or three. And then I put false in the last one. And I'm just going to click OK. OK, now it says NA at the moment because there's no code in, entered in here. So if I click in here and I put number two and click off it, it brings back the word strawberry. So if I go back to my data and check, there it is, number two was strawberry. So if I go back to my sheet one again, which I'm going to rename GUI for graphic user interface, if I wanted to put a different number in, like a number four, it brings me back the cost, the, the, the number there, is the, sorry, the name of that one as well. If I want to get the cost, I do exactly the same thing. I'm going to create a function. I'm going to use the VLOOKUP function. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to go to where the value is. It's the same place. It's in this cell here where the product code goes in. Where's the data? Data's in the same place. I'm going to click on there, go to my data again, highlight my data, say OK. Column this time will be the third column because that's where the, the cost is. And again, I want to type in the word false. Click OK. I can go back to my 
um, data, there's my data, there's my graphic user interface. Now you'll see that when I put a different number in, it changes the cost as well. Now there's obviously a few things I would need to do to this to make it look tidier. I need to do some bolding, I need to maybe, I want to make my background for this a, a different colour so I can actually fill some colours in to make it look like it's a, a solid screen or, or something like that. However I want to do it to t tidy it up. I can use insert over here to bring a picture in. So if I've got a logo of my shop, like the Woolworths logo or something, I can insert my picture and put that onto my spreadsheet somewhere. I can change any of my text sizes. I can make them bigger, smaller, bold them up. If I want to make this here into a format for the currency, I can right click and format that cell again, make it into currency type and so on. So I end up with this user interface which is going to look really attractive but when I click my number in here and click off it, it will give me the values that I want back.